a hell of a story, a woman involved in the Usain Bolt saga says, you know, the fraud, her boss actually put her up to it, made her take the fall. So let's put up the pictures for a mask. Um, Usain Bolt, at one point, one of the fastest, not one of, he was the fastest man on the planet Earth. Jean Ann Penton was arrested for stealing millions from Usain Bolt. While she originally confessed to stealing those millions. She said that the scam was actually because of her former boss and company founder. And she promised to take the fall because he offered her something. Let's get into it. Ms. Panton and nine others are being sued by Gene Ford, an 80 year old investor who alleges that Stocks and Securities Limited stole 830,000 out of her portfolio. However, this complaint is one of a much larger web of deceit costing hundreds of people much or all of their retirement savings, including Olympic athlete Usain Bolt. The track star's manager, Nugent Walker, noticed his account with the private invest investment firm was fleeced for millions. Bolt acted against SSL after his fortune dwindled down to $12,000. January 16th, his lawyers made a clear ultimatum in a, in a letter sent to SSL to return every penny of the 12 million, 758,181 dollars and 74 cents. The reported balance of Bolt's account on October 31st, 2022. Or they would file a civil and criminal complaint against the firm. The eight time Olympic gold medalist called the ordeal a sad situation that has left him disappointed and confused. In addition, Bolt had this to say, it has definitely put a damper on me. This was for my future. Everybody knows I have three kids. I'm still looking after my parents and I still want to live very well. Ms. Panton is the first and only person named in a lawsuit that has signed a confession statement. On January 7th, she said in her statement, that she knowingly stole the money. Over the course of several years, at the top of the year, the former client relation manager also said she used various mechanisms to take money from clients and created false statements to provide to the clients reflecting what they should have in statements to provide to the clients uh, this account information and not the actual sum. Obviously, that is a felony, if true. Put up the picture of this guy. She says she was persuaded to confess by her old boss, Hugh Croskery. That's according to the Jamaican Gleaner. In the document filed in the Supreme Court in Kingston on May 25th, she explained how that fellow, third defendant in the case, made her certain promises if she confessed. Through his lawyers, he denies bartering with anyone and said he was unaware of any fraud at the firm when he resigned five years ago. What a saga. We will not be able to solve this case here, but whole lot of dirty folk obviously, whole lot of money. But to go from $12 million to $12,000, when you provided opportunity for them to simply do the right thing multiple times, to learn that you have pennies compared to what you invested. Ricky, I get what the brother's saying, man. Like, this would be more than disappointing because you put your money in those financial instruments. In order to protect them, not really for yourself only, but for your family, protect it for your family. So we tell people to do this, you get, get a lot of money, make sure you put it in these vehicles uh, so that this money can work for you and your family. He does it and look what happens, thoughts. Yeah, uh, I've been in the business 33 years, I've had the same thing happen to me. 
uh, slick, jivey, fast talking mm. individual. Um, uh, yeah, I'm, I, I'm, I'm in this fraternity. I'm in that sorority. Uh, you know, I got my own this and, and that and all the familiarity of the conversation to get you excited that these people are going to do the right thing for you only for them uh, to rip you off. And when I and I tell you, um, you and I had this conversation. Yep, I was thinking about ago, it. We sure did. I, I put you on to somebody that's going to protect you and make sure yep. that you have money and get in the right investments. Man, anything that sounds good, if they can't tell you, here's the lesson. If they can't tell you the bad, if they can't tell you what can go wrong, that is a red flag. Anybody that have an explanation and an answer for every single thing when it comes to dollar and cents and money, and they make everything sound good, and they got a big smile and all of their teeth are straight, or <laughs> they got a perfect smile, got got or whatever. Don't trust them. Mm. Don't trust you're them. You're talking wisdom, man. That, that's that. the part. No, no, Absolutely. Ricky. You're talking wisdom because the the ones that are the charlatan, they're oh, going yeah. to make it seem like everything is going to work. There are no risk. It's not as no such thing as no risk in investment. It just it doesn't happen that way. Yeah, they call possible. you a lot. They hunt, they hunt you down. They call you a lot, and and, and they just they, they will wear you down until you just like okay. Because as artists. And athletes, we just want to shoot ball, do comedy, rap, sing, uh, or whatever it is, because we are not financial experts, right? We're artists. So yeah. we have to go over here to perform. We can't perform and do math. Eventually, you have to learn uh, and get a little bit smarter with finances uh, once you're in the industry. But anybody on this earth that make anything sound great, don't trust it. Yeah. All right. Wise advice. 